Hey, what is up and welcome to a brand new episode of It's Elementary, where we take elementary school lessons and subjects and just elementary stuff that you send in and questions and we break them down. We break them down in a way in which everybody can understand. Whether you are five years old or 50 years old, we're sure you'll be able to understand. Okay, so recently I received this email from Caleb of Riverstone Middle School and he says, Dear Ed's Elementary, I had a dream where I was walking to your building to come and see you. Now, when I looked up, I seen you from a distance in the window. It was kind of scary, but I waved to you and I said, hi, it's elementary. When I looked at you, you were not only a girl, but you were just staring at me. So then me and my mom, we drove home and on the way driving, you were on the side of the road and I rode right past you and then you scaredly looked back at me. It was a pretty scary dream. Um, thanks? Why did you make me into a crazy psycho girl? Come on, you have the power and you could have made me into this awesome buff dude. You have the power to control your dreams. Oh, you know what? Let's talk about how you can get to a state where you can control your dreams. Let's talk about lucid dreaming, shall we? So the word lucid, it means to be open and easily understood. Now, a lucid dream is just that. It is a dream where you are aware and you are open to the fact that you are dreaming thus allowing you to control the dream. You can control the setting of where your dream take place. You can control the people in your, in your dream. You can control your outfit right down to the color in which you want to wear. You can control the weather. Boom, whoa, whoa. Everything is at your disposal. You can control what special powers you want to have. And if you just want to be this crazy, amazing ninja. Okay, so that clip right there, that wasn't actually a dream. I actually did that. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Rock Nation. Rock Nation. Now, the sad thing is, is that only 20% of humans actually are lucid dreamers and can dream regularly and naturally. It just comes to them. As soon as they go to sleep, they automatically know that they are dreaming. Only 20% of us can do that. All rest of us, we think that is real. But there is a way in which you can train your brain into becoming a lucid dreamer. And you can have a lucid dream. You can have that special ability. Basically, you are just bugging your mind. You're putting a bug and you are hacking your brain. You see, once you're in a dream and then you are aware and open to the fact that it is just a dream, you gain the ability of lucidness. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is create a dream journal. Every time you wake up, write down what you dreamed about. Every time, write down everything that you remember. You see, by doing this, you train your brain into knowing what's real and what's reality. You train your brain into finding signs and patterns into the dream world. At times when you don't have a dream, write down in your journal, I did not have a dream last night. I'm telling you, this is gonna help your brain. You are, it's all about training your brain so when it comes time to understand the dream world, your brain will know this is a dream. Tonight I dreamed I was, tonight I dreamed I was putting my peanut butter lipstick on. Ooh, I'm so pretty, I'm so Okay, so the second thing you're gonna want to do to ensure that you will gain lucidness when you're dreaming later on that night is throughout the day, at least once every hour, 
Remind yourself of reality. Tell yourself, hey, I am walking down the street. This is reality. Hey, I am picking up the garbage. This is reality. Hey, I am going to my neighbor's house. This is reality. Why? Because you are training your brain to understand what's reality and you are giving your brain a pattern to go off of. So when you're in your dream world, your subconscious is going to try to remind yourself of reality and it's not going to work and boom, you're going to be alerted that, hey, I'm in a dream and then you will reach this. Okay, so the last thing you can do to help yourself become a lucid dreamer is get a digital watch. And once again, once throughout the day, once an hour, look at your hands and then look at your watch and say to yourself, what time is it? Look at your hands. It is 117 and this is reality. Look at your hands. It is 217 and this is reality. Do this throughout today. Once again, you are training your brain. And when it comes to dream time, you're gonna try to do this in the dream. You're gonna look at your hands and you're gonna look at your watch. Now, lucid dreamers have told researchers that when you look at your hands or your feet in a dream, they are very blurry. And that is a red flag that it is a dream. Automatically, you are gonna gain lucidness. Okay guys, so if you wanna become a lucid dreamer, these are the things that you can do to help yourself gain lucidness and to literally be able to take control of your dreams.